Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an interesting and educational topic to discuss, the history of some unusual groups known as cults. We'll explore their beliefs and practices. So, grab your snacks, and let's dive into these historical stories. Number 10. Heaven's Gate. Our first entry on the list is Heaven's Gate. Founded in 1974 by Bonnie Nettles and Marshall Applewhite, this cult believed that Earth was about to be recycled, and to reach the higher level of existence, members needed to shed their earthly bodies and board a spaceship following the comet hail bop Nettles and Applewhite attracted followers by claiming to be divine messengers, presenting themselves as T and Do. The group's members, known as the Away Team, isolated themselves from the outside world and practiced celibacy. They believed that their souls would be transported to the awaiting spaceship, continuing their spiritual journey. The cult's ultimate climax came on March 26, 1997, in California, when 39 members, including Applewhite, made a very tragic decision and lost their lives. Marshall Applewhite had recorded a video titled, Do's Final Exit, a few days earlier, discussing the topic and his belief in it being the sole method to depart from this earth. Ironically, the cult's position was against this practice. All 39 were dressed in matching black shirts and sweatpants, brand new black and white Nike Decades athletic shoes, and armband patches with the phrase, Heaven's Gate Away Team. During autopsy, some members of the Heaven's Gate cult, including leader Marshall Applewhite, were found to have undergone an unusual surgery. Bonnie Nettles was not among the 39 members, as she had died from cancer in 1985. Heaven's Gate website is still online. It's important to remember that this was a very sad and tragic event. The loss of so many lives is a heartbreaking reminder of the impact that strong beliefs and group dynamics can have on people. Let's approach this topic with respect and empathy for those who were affected. Number 9. Aum Shinrikyo. Next up is Aum Shinrikyo, a Japanese doomsday cult founded by Shoko Asahara in 1987. Asahara, whose real name was Chizuo Matsumoto, gained a considerable following with his charismatic personality and claimed to be the reincarnation of Jesus Christ. He convinced his followers that the world was on the brink of apocalypse and that only they would survive and reach a higher state of existence. Aum Shinrikyo amassed thousands of members worldwide, including scientists and professionals. The group's teachings blended aspects of Buddhism, Hinduism, and Christianity, mixed with apocalyptic prophecies and conspiracy theories. In March 1995, Aum Shinrikyo carried out the infamous Tokyo subway attack, one of their attempts to accelerate the apocalypse. The group's leader also wanted to start a third world war. Members released a dangerous gas in crowded subway cars during the morning rush hour, resulting in many people getting hurt, and some even losing their lives. The group was also responsible for the Matsumoto attack nine months earlier. The attack shot number eight. The Order of the Solar Temple. Moving on, we have the Order of the Solar Temple, a group founded in 1984 by Joseph D. Mambro and Luke Jurit. This cult had its roots in esoteric and occult practices, and claims to be based upon the ideals of the Knights Templar, also known as the Order of Solomon's Temple. The Order's teachings were a blend of Christianity, UFO mythology, and New Age philosophy using variously adapted Freemason rituals. One of the Order's main goals was to establish the correct notions of authority and power in the world. The leaders claimed to be the reincarnation of notable ancient figures, such as Moses and the Egyptian pharaoh Akhenaten. They attracted members from Switzerland, Canada, and France, among others. Luke Jurit was interested in influential members. In the 1990s, the cult was involved in a series of tragic events that shocked the world. From 1994 to 1997, several people lost their lives in France, Canada, and Switzerland. The members believed that they were leaving to escape the hypocrisies and oppression of this world. Number 7. The Children of God. The Children of God, now known as the Family International, makes the list as well. This cult was founded in 1968 by David Berg, who later took on the alias, Moses David. The group promoted a mix of Christian teachings and intimacy, claiming that God's love could be expressed through intimate relationships. The group's message was about the apocalypse, spiritual revolution and happiness, and distrust of the outside world, which they called the system. They foretold the coming of the Antichrist, 
the brutal one world government and the second coming of Jesus Christ which would overthrow the Antichrist. Berg introduced a controversial practice known as, flirty fishing, where some female members were encouraged to interact very warmly with others to attract new followers. According to sources, over 200,000 men were fished, and thousands of babies were born. The practice was abandoned in 1987 reportedly because of the spread of AIDS. At its peak, the Children of God had tens of thousands of members worldwide. The cult operated under a communal lifestyle. This led to allegations of exploitation within the group. Through his MO letters, Byrd promoted that there should be no limits and members were advised to be intimate with any other group members who wanted to, at any time. Over the years, the Children of God faced scrutiny and criticism, and they underwent significant changes in their teachings and practices. They still operate, and they are led by Karen Zerby, Berg's wife, after his death in 1994. Number 6. Realism. Realism, founded by Claude Vorlhan, also known as Rail, is an intriguing entry. This UFO religion teaches that humans were created by extraterrestrial beings known as Elohim. Rail claimed that he had a close encounter with a UFO in 1973 in France, where he received messages from the Elohim about humanity's origins. The group claims that the Elohim have created 40 Elohim human hybrids who have served as prophets, such as the Buddha, Jesus, and Muhammad, and Rail himself is the 40th and final prophet. Rail believes that the Elohim would return one day and stated that humanity has to build an embassy for the Elohim prior to their arrival on Earth, and that it must include a landing pad for their spaceship. Railism advocates for love for everyone and scientific advancements. The Raelians believe in the idea of human cloning and claim that the Elohim, the beings they follow, might create copies of people who have passed away, but only those who they deem worth it. The group also advocates gender fluidity. The group is still active and has had thousands of members worldwide, with a dedicated following in France. Number 5. The Branch Davidians. Let's discuss the Branch Davidians, a religious sect led by David Koresh, whose real name was Vernon Wayne Howell. The group was founded in 955 by Benjamin Roden and originated from the Davidian movement, a splinter group of the Seventh day Adventist Church. In 1981, Koresh joined the group and eventually gained control of it. Koresh presented himself as a prophet and claimed to be the Lamb of God. He believed that he was destined to open the seven seals mentioned in the book of Revelation, leading to the second coming of the Christ and the beginning of the Apocalypse. There were also serious concerns about the safety and well-being of some younger people associated with Koresh. In 1993, the Branch Davidians faced a standoff with law enforcement in Waco, Texas, after a lengthy investigation into allegations. The FBI and Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms conducted raid on the group's compound, known as Mount Carmel Center. The 51-day siege ended in a tragic fire on April 19, 1993, that resulted in a lot of members losing their lives, including Koresh himself. Number 4. The Movement for the Restoration of the Ten Commandments of God Our next entry is the Movement for the Restoration of the Ten Commandments of God, a Ugandan cult that predicted the world would end in the year 2000. Founded by Credonium Werend and Joseph Kibwatir in 1989, this group attracted thousands of members from Uganda and neighboring countries. They blended elements of Christianity with apocalyptic prophecies, claiming that the apocalypse was imminent. Their goals were to obey the Ten Commandments and preach the word of Jesus Christ. The group discouraged talking, for fear of breaking the Ninth Commandment, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. On some days communication was only conducted in sign language. Fasting was regular. Abstinence was enforced, and soap was forbidden. When the predicted end of the world did not occur, the cult faced a crisis of faith. March 17, 2000 got announced as the new doomsday. On that day, the group's leaders orchestrated a tragic plan, resulting in the tragic deaths of hundreds of members at a party organized by the group. After that event, police investigated movement properties and discovered hundreds of bodies across Uganda. The whereabouts of the five principal cult leaders are unknown. Number 3. The Church of Euthanasia. The Church of Euthanasia is not your typical cult. Founded in 1992 by techno musician and software developer Chris Corda and Robert Kimberg, it's more of a satirical social critique rather than a traditional religious organization. 
The church emphasizes ideas related to voluntary choices for human population, suggesting various ways to reduce impact on Earth. The church promotes population reduction by voluntary means only. One of their main slogans is suggesting to save the environment using these voluntary choices. While not as deadly as some other groups on our list, its unique perspective has sparked discussions from different viewpoints. Number 2. The Manson Family. The Manson Family, led by Charles Manson in the late 1960s, gained notoriety for being involved in serious criminal activities, including tragic incidents, and the tragic end of actress Sharon Tate. At its peak, the cult had around 100 members. Manson, known for his charisma, held unusual beliefs about societal changes regarding race and believed that some of the Beatles' songs foretold it all in code. He influenced his followers to take part in disturbing actions, aiming to create unrest for his unusual vision. The group would frequently use psychoactive drugs, and the members of the family became convinced that Manson was a manifestation of Jesus Christ. Charles Manson also befriended Dennis Wilson, the drummer of the Beach Boys, for a brief period of time. This resulted in the Beach Boys song, Never Learn Not to Love, which is a reworked version of a Manson song, originally titled, Cease to Exist. On August 9, 1969, in Los Angeles, members of the group were involved in a tragic incident, which took the lives of individuals including actress and the wife of director Roman Polanski Sharon Tate, who was also pregnant, along with others. In the following days, more unfortunate events occurred. Manson and several of his followers were held accountable for their involvement. Number 1. Nawabian Nation. Finally, we have the Nawabian Nation, founded in 1967 by Dwight York, also known as Malachi Z. York. The group originated in New York, the cult mixed elements of Islam, ancient Egyptian religion, Judaism, Christianity, UFO conspiracy theories, New Age, and black supremacist beliefs. At its peak, the cult had several hundred members. The cult attracted members primarily from African-American communities, York claimed to be a messianic figure, and an extraterrestrial master teacher from the planet Risk. He established a large ancient Egypt-themed compound in rural Putnam County, Georgia, which he called Tamari. In a letter from York, dated November 10, 2004, he advocated for the superiority of the African heritage race over others. He also taught pseudo-etymologies of English words. Over the years, York faced numerous controversies and legal troubles. York had established strict intimacy practices within the community. He was arrested in 2002 and, in 2004, he was sentenced to 135 years in prison. York's case was reported as the largest prosecution directed at a single person, involving the safety and well-being of several younger people, in the history of the United States. York is currently serving his sentence in Colorado, his projected release date is July 12, 2120. And there you have it. The Top 10 Most Bizarre Cults in History Let's always keep in mind the victims and the impact that strong beliefs can have on people's lives. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel for more intriguing content, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious and stay safe.